Hello everyone, I'm Jinping. Today we're going to talk about how to choose your first property. Before we start the video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that you don't miss any of my videos. Let's go! Today's topic is quite interesting because I've met so many people who said that they are ready to buy their first property but they don't know what to buy. So today I'm going to share with you more about how you can start to choose what to buy as a first property. I hope these considerations can actually help you to make an informed decision better. So what is this property for? Is this for investments or is this for own state? This is the first question you should ask yourself when you're considering to buy your first property. Uh, investments and own state properties are two different approach uh, when you're looking a, uh, to buy a property. Many thought that um, buying any property can be for investments and for own state, but that is very wrong. I will do another video to show you more how to actually uh, deal with these two approaches differently. So when you're deciding to buy your first property, you first need to identify what is the purpose of this uh, property. So after establishing the purpose, the next thing you need to decide is the location of your property. Uh, you don't have to pick a location based on its popularity. Um, the, the location that you should pick should resonate with your lifestyle and your familiarity. So look at areas where amenities that matter to your lifestyle are within reach. Uh, for example, if you're a cyclist, maybe being uh, buying a property that is near the park connectors might appeal to you better. Uh, if you're planning to have children or already have children, do look out for properties that are near to schools that you wish for your children to enroll in. Um, look for properties located conveniently near the MRT or the interchange is also another important consideration if you are not driving. For condos, you can choose to buy a freehold or a leasehold. Um, all your HDBs are actually just 99 years leasehold. The remaining lease can affect your eligibility for a loan. Uh, for you to get a maximum uh, HDB loan, the property must have enough lease for it to last the youngest buyer until they are 95. For banks, a shorter lease will result in a lower LTV ratio and therefore more cash will be needed to finance your uh, property. Um, do check out my videos on how much you can borrow to understand more about how this tenure of the property can affect your bank loan. So, property prices are measured by the price per square foot. So, a 1,000 square foot house costing $1 million, the price per square foot will be $1,000. So, there are many who use the PSF as a barometer. Uh, a low PSF doesn't mean that it's always a good deal. The PSF is most useful when you're comparing two properties that are highly similar. For example, two units in the same condo development with relatively same layout. So, the PSF becomes uh, irrelevant when you are comparing significantly different properties such as, uh, for example, a landed property in Serangoon versus a condo that is in Orchard Road. So would you agree that it would be nice to know what's going on uh, in your area in the next 5-10 to 10 years? So the URA master plan is like a little crystal ball of Singapore properties. It tells you about the government's upcoming plans for Singapore and the areas that there will be development or they are going to develop. So understanding that URA master plan can help you identify areas that the government will develop or have plans to develop. Knowing the future development near your shortlisted properties can help you develop exit strategies should you choose to sell this property in the future. And these developments usually help you to command a good resale price. So here are the 5 considerations for you when you are looking to buy your first property. So that's all for today. If you have any topics or questions that you wish for me to talk about, please leave them in the comments below. If not, I'll see you again soon. Bye!